You know, people try to make God like them. Amen. Ignorant. But God seek no advice from no one. God doesn't need advice from anyone about anything. God is all knowing. God don't have to learn. Nor does God seek counsel from men. You know, we're living in a society today that men have gotten so broad in their concept, they believe they can tell God some things. You can't tell God nothing. He know everything. Before we came here, we walked in on a church. I forgot the name of the church, and I walked in, and some of the people got startled. And when I got as, we got as far as the lobby, the usher recognized who I was. She looked at me and said, what are you doing in a place like this? <laughs> and this supposed to be church. <laughs> Imagine, I can understand you asking me that if I was in a club yeah. or a bar. But she looked at me and said, what are you doing in a place like this? So they wanted me to come up to the front. I said, no, I, I stand in the back. I was hoping I was able to walk in while the preacher was in the pulpit. That's, that's what I wanted. But I don't know the times of services that these churches have, so we sat in the back. While the people came time for them to get robbed of their money. And they gave it up willingly and gladly. But I sat there and thought all of these souls. No repentance, no baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. No seeking the Holy Spirit. Don't know who God is. Women preachers everywhere. Believe me, you can divorce and remarry. And one thing about divorce and remarry, men will fight you for that second and third wife if they was on a respirator, we're on an oxygen tank. But when it come to Bible, they do just like they did when Jesus was here. They love to run to Moses. And when they run to Moses, they don't even obey the Moses that they run to. So we're living in the last days. As I understand, six more was baptized last night in the name of Jesus Christ, which gave us so far 32 souls in the midst of this conference. We thank God for Bishop Ferguson and all the ministers that work along with him throughout the Bahamas. We thank God for the television station here that's bombing the island. And it is bombing the island. And uh, so far, so good. <laughs> all right, before we dive into the Bible, we over the air, and I want to greet all of our brothers and sisters internationally. God willing, to you that are in Jamaica, we'll be there, God willing, I believe, in about another two weeks. After that, we will be way on the other side of the world, below Australia, in New Zealand. We will be in about, I believe, three different cities in New Zealand laboring for souls there. Then we'll get back to America, God willing, getting prepared for our closing year, Holy Convocation. All right, before we dive into the Bible and work on you, I understand that some may have some questions. You can present your questions brief, precise to the point, because we have the whole world to address. All right, if you have, do that have questions that came to visit, raise your hand so we can pick up your subject quickly as we can and dive into it with Bible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, brother. Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. And respect to you, Mr. Minister Giant. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't have the microphone. If you like. Respect to you and all of the 
brothers and sisters here in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas where I live. My brother, I hope you enjoy your stay here. Yes, sir. I hope that you will come back. I will. I hope that you will spread the good news. Yes, sir. That uh, it's better in the Bahamas. And so, I hope you enjoying your stay and your brothers. But the question I have for you today, I've listened to you, it's on salvation. Mm -hmm. How one become a member, notice I'm saying, a member of the body of Christ according to Colossians 1, 18. Mm -hmm. And according to 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, and according to Ephesians 1, 13, and according to Ephesians 2, 8, 9, and according to Ephesians 4, 30. Mm -hmm. According to Galatians 3 and 26, I mean, Galatians 3 and 26 and 27, that we are all baptized into the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. But I've heard you, I've listened to you on Acts 2, 38. Mm -hmm. and so when I read Acts 2, 38, Acts 36, 37, 38, Peter, preach on the day of Pentecost. He was not speaking to you, Pastor Jennings. He was not speaking to us. He was speaking to the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. They gathered there for a feast. It was prophesied by Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so it disturbs me, <clears throat> and persons believe what they want to believe. But I think that salvation is the most important thing. Yes, sir. And if we don't get salvation right, we can get nothing else right. So what is your question, sir? My question to you, sir. My question to you, sir. Do persons get or have they become born again by Acts 2, 38? All right. Let's go to work in the Bible. And not only that, being that you're emphasizing Israel, are you saying salvation is just for Israel? No, salvation was for the Jews first, yes. and then yes. salvation for the whole world. Oh, so it is for everybody. So we got to rightly, according to 2 Timothy 2.15, mm -hmm. we must rightly divide. So salvation time. is for everybody. Everyone, but it must be rightly divided because there's different salvation in the Bible. I just want to know, is salvation for everybody? For everyone, but everybody don't get saved the oh, way I... Israel got saved. The way I mean, we get saved how, today. How many ways is it to be born again? Now, first on the whole, sir, Rick, you know, I love you. I love how you demonstrate. Yes. Uh, there are many ways in the Bible. To be born again? No. To be born again, because you, Mr. Jennings, Pastor Jennings, cannot be born again. Sir, how many ways, according to the Bible, is it to be born again? Only one way we can be created. I didn't ask A new that. creature. Uh, sir, but born just, just, just a minute, sir. I didn't ask you how many ways to be created. I asked you how many ways is it to be born again? Because if we are born again, we was already born the first time, which is our natural birth coming from the womb of our mothers. Agreed. But if it says born again, then he's instituting what Jesus declared to be a new birth. New birth. So then... How many ways is it to be born again according to the Bible? It is one way to be born again, and that's Israel to be born again, Jeremiah 31 and 31. So just Israel is born again? Yes, we are created in the body oh, of Christ. Oh, so. See, creation and born again is too different. We're not dealing with creation. No, the body of Christ has to be created anew and become a new creature. So if the body of Christ has to be created anew, how do we get in that body? Very good question. How do we get in? That's, that's, the, that's the best question ever put to me in my 70 years. 
How do we get into the body according to the Bible? First Corinthians chapter 15, 1 through 4. Read Hold it. it. Let's go to work in the Bible. Let's go to work in the Bible. First Corinthians chapter 15. 1 through 4. 1 through 4. Follow me in the Bible. First Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. All right. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, mm -hmm. which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, mm -hmm. unless ye have believed in vain. Yes. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. At verse 4. And that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. All right, now, which one of those verses tell me how to get into the body? First Corinthians, you have to go back now to Ephesians 1. No, 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 before we, just, just a minute, just a minute, this is, this is your scripture. Yes, but that's the Bible scripture, let's, that's God's let's, word. Here, let's stay right here. Right. No need to hop in the way else until we finish this. No, I already said that's no. self-explanatory. You said, that this tells us how to get in the body. It's how to be saved. Correct? How to be saved. How to get into the body. That's how to be saved, it says. So, so. S A V E D, saved. So, we are saved if we keep in memory, which is what? What is preached? That Christ, what is preached? What was preached? The gospel. It's right there. All right. I'm so glad you say that. Now, you're saved if you keep in remembrance. Saved means to be delivered. That's. If, here, if you delivered from a thing, you are saved from it or rescued from it, would you not agree? I agree 1,000%. So if I'm in the fire, somebody come save me, they come rescue me and get me out of it. Jesus came hmm. to rescue us, save us, get us out of sin. So then, if we're saved by keeping me in remembrance what is preached unto us, let's see what we got to remember. St. John chapter Luke, 3. No, 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 no. Now, just a minute. So. Now, just a minute. You are running from no, 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 no. Listen, I gave you time to talk, and I'm still elaborating on the scripture you gave. So let me finish. God give it. Let, let, here, here, here. Let me finish now. I'm elaborating on the scripture, scripture you gave. It's you God said word. say. Is that God's word? Oh, yes. Okay. That's all, that's all we're dealing with. Let's rightly divide it. That's all we're dealing with. Okay. All right. You are saved if you keep in remembrance what is preached unto you, lest you believe in vain. I believe that with my whole heart. Oh, yes. Now let's go to the one that taught the apostles, because the apostles got to remember what was preached to them. That's right. Luke. Luke chapter 24 and at verse 47. That's what? And that repentance. Oh, we got to remember this. And that repentance. And that repentance. And remission of sins. And remission of sins. Should be preached. Should. Should be preached. How? In his name. Where? Among all nations. Beginning where? Beginning at Jerusalem. Let's go to Jerusalem. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. This is what Jesus commands. Then Peter and said unto them. And you are saved. This is your scripture. Your scripture. That's the word if of God. This is the scripture you brought. But that's the word of God. I agree. It's God's word, the scripture you presented, that I agree with. And I agree 100% that you are saved if you keep in remembrance what I preached unto you, lest ye believe in vain. And the teaching of the gospel, the teaching of the doctrine that the apostles preached came from Christ. That's right. So I'm going back to the foundation, which is Christ. I disagree. Because other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, the Bible says, which is Jesus Christ. Right. So I have to go to the foundation, the author and finisher and the originator of our faith, of our belief, is not the apostles is the originator. Christ is Christ. the originator because he's the foundation of the church. All right, let's hear what Jesus said. Can I Still respond to that? Still in Luke 24 and verse 47. Luke 24, 47. And that repentance. Because it's Christ's teaching. Amen. That repentance. And remission of sins. And remission or removing of sins. Should be preached. Should. 
that you don't preach it, you're a hypocrite and a heathen. Should and be disobedient. preached. That's right. Should be preached. In what? his name. How? Um, in his name. How? In his name. Beginning where? Among all nations, wait, beginning. Wait, wait, wait. No, just to the Jews. Among all nations. No, just the Hebrews. Among all nations. Just nope. the black folk. Among all nations. Just the people with kinky hair. Among all nations. Beginning where? Among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Beginning where? At Jerusalem. All right, let's forget the, we're going to trail this. Question. First, yes, sir. Sir. Yes. With all respect, with the spirit of God that mm. lives within me, according to Ephesians 4.30. Mm -hmm. The book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And I will challenge you. Well, that's what you're now doing. Hear this now. No, I'm challenging the scripture. Yeah. And, I can, and you can have to fulfill the scripture by 2 Timothy 2.15. Yeah. Now hear what it says. It says, study to show thyself approved unto God. Now, that a workman, that a laborer, be not ashamed rightly. Yes. See, this is, this is the problem that I have on some things that you believe in. Fine. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay. The truth of God's word must be, not, not kind of be, must be rightly divided. So where am I wrong at? But let me tell you where you're wrong. That's what I want you to do. You are wrong. You went. I took you to Apostle Paul, who were called... He was called by Jesus Christ. I Read agree. 1 Corinthians 1. I one. agree. Now, he on the road to Damascus, Acts 9. Mm -hmm. And sir, with all respect, when Jesus was on earth, yes. and you cannot find me one scripture in that Bible, yes. in the word of God, you, sir, with all respect, cannot yes. find me one scripture where Jesus, when he was on this earth, yes. he walked this earth in the flesh, yes. that he preached the gospel of grace. He preached the gospel of, of grace. grace. What is grace? Grace is a person, according to Titus 2. Grace. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Just, just, hold, just a minute, just a minute, hold Grace up. is a person, Titus 2, 10 and 11. Grace is a person. For the grace of God Who had appeared to Sing. all men. Wait a minute. That's just, Jesus just, Christ. Just a minute. Sing. Grace is a person. It's a person, and I can show you this person, Saint Jesus. John. All right, give he me showed. John. St. John chapter 1 uh, and at verse 17. Listen to that, John 1, 17. For the law was given by Moses. The law. Now, you said Jesus never preached it. Let's see. Here, just a minute. Hold up. No. The law don't was do that. given by Moses. The, the, the law. Don't tell me don't do that. No, I got to do it. I got to give you Bible. No, that's what right. You the law was given by Moses. Was given by Moses or Musa, but grace, grace and truth, and truth came by Jesus Christ. Do you believe that? Listen. Now watch this. No, no. Do no, you no, believe no. that? I believe that. Do you me. believe that? One hundred thousand. I believe that. Did, so, it, did it come by Jesus? Yes. But watch this. Did so. he preach it? Yes. Watch it. Wait, wait, no, wait. Just he a didn't minute. preach grace. Just a minute. Just grace a minute. and he truth. Was grace. grace. Grace and truth came, who? came he by Jesus. Jesus Christ. He is Jesus. Grace and truth is Jesus. I agree. And it, just, just grace and truth is I Yahshua. Agree. I'm so glad you said that. Grace and truth is Yahushua, is Yahushua, and did not Yahushua preach about himself? No. He didn't? Grace he and truth. The whole up. He, no, he never did, preached he did about himself? Pre no, he did not. Did he not say, my father who dwelleth in me he doeth, uh -huh. the works. doeth the works? in me he did he not say no man cometh to the father except by me and listen. you dare tell me listen he didn't preach about himself no he didn't no that yes. makes the bible a lie that's yes. right let's read this saint john chapter 14 follow me in the bible and at verse 10 follow me in the bible believest thou not Listen at Jesus now. Believest thou not? Now I'm asking you the same thing. Believest thou not? Believest thou not? That I yes. am in the Father. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. He's preaching about who? That I am in I, the Father. I, 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 I am in the Father. Uh -huh. I am in the Father. Now, now who's not rightly dividing it? Hold up. You will, here, you will dare insult Jesus. Believest and thou not? Say he didn't preach about himself? No, listen. You wait. don't know the Bible. No, but Look that's at right. what Jesus said. I Believest thou not that I... He's asking I, you a question. Believest thou okay. not... Believest can, thou not... That I... I... Am in the Father. I... Is I, he talking about himself? Listen. Yes. Now... That I, I... I am in the Father. I am in the Father. And the Father in and me. And the Father is in me. The words that I speak... Wait a minute. 
Hallelujah. What he said? The words that I speak. The words that what? The words that I speak. You stood here and said, I cannot find nowhere in the Bible. Uh -huh. That Jesus talked about himself? No, I didn't say that. Preach. Listen what I said. Listen what I said. I, I said, preach about himself. The word that I speak. Preach about himself. The word that I speak unto Jesus you. Jesus said. Preach. The words that I here, speak. Here, 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 Pastor Jennings. Here, hear me good. And I say this to every preacher, and I don't care who you are. Don't fight the truth of God. No, never will. Don't fight it. You're going to stand here, Mr. and My everybody Lord. heard you. I'm not putting words in your mouth. Mr. Jennings. You said I say Jesus this? ain't never. In fact, you okay. said I can never get a scripture. Okay, okay. Right. share this still. Let, let me finish Can I this. clarify that? Let me finish. Okay. Let me finish, because I heard you out. I said that. Okay. Believest thou not? Now you got to believe it. That's right. I believe. Let me just say this for all the audience. Yes. I believe every dot, every tittle. Uh -huh. Every letter, yes, from Genesis one so who lied, to Revelation chapter twenty-two. Amen. You believe now, it? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. I'm not, I'm not I believe. I'm not finished every, with this. Okay, but I wanted to say this. So you believe it, that. correct? I believe it. So you believe it? I believe it. So you lied then? No, no I did not. So you lied? I did not. All right, what Hear did it. Jesus say? Believe it thou not that Hear I it. am in the Father? Do you believe that? I don't want to evade this, sir. I'm not. Do not evade I'm, this? I'm sticking right no, here. No, no, no. I'm sticking we with the Bible, too. We got two statements on the floor. Hear me, sir. One statement that you said that I can't give you no Bible that what? Jesus talk about himself. No, and I said I preach. Ask you, preach believe about himself. Not. What Hear is me. he doing here? Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom. The words that I speak. He never preached about himself. He never preached about himself? He preached the, the gospel of the kingdom. Well, let me ask you something. Here. Yeah. When a per yeah, let me ask Jesus you a question. Jesus preached down. the gospel listen, of the kingdom. I agree. Let me ask you a question. You agree? Bro. Let me ask you. Yes, I, he, do you agree? I agree. He preached 100 the gospel. 100%? Yes, sir. Okay. He preached the gospel of the kingdom. Uh -huh. When you preach, are you speaking? When you preach, the are words you speaking? that are you I speaking? speak. According to when you speak, you don't have to always be preaching. Yeah. When you preach, are you speaking? Because the Bible said the Spirit. Speak it that expressly. expressly. Listen. Was Jesus a preacher? Jesus was a preacher of the Jews. Was he? I agree. So what is he doing here? Did you agree? Yes, yes. Oh, thank so God what is he doing agree. here? Thank God you agree. So what is he doing here? What he's doing there? Yes, he's he preaching the gospel of the kingdom to the Jewish, his Jewish people. All right. He came to his own. And his own receive him not. That's nice. His own yes. in Acts 2 38. Yes. They killed him. I agree. They crucified I him. I agree. And Peter told them they must repent. I agree. He never told you, Mr. Jennings, and me, or none of y'all to repent. Never? Never. All right. Hold that statement. Hold, Hold that, that statement. statement. Hold Acts. Yeah. Everybody, everybody settle down. Acts Hold that statement because I believe he's honest. And I believe he's sincere. But I'm you a, don't I, I'm a member of the body of Christ, bro. Listen. I'm a minister yeah, 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 in the body yeah, of Christ. Yeah, now, yeah. Because I'm trying to help you because you don't know what you're talking about at all. Oh, I know. All right. Oh, let's, I know. Let's finish this. Let's finish this because he said, Jesus, I can't get no Bible where Jesus, Jesus ever preached about himself. Jesus really? preached the gospel of the kingdom. Let's, let's hear this. St. John 14, still at verse 10. That's what? Believest thou not that I am in the Father? I'm in, he, I. I. Personal pronoun. That's right. I'm in the Father. And the Father in me. And the Father in me. The words that I speak the unto words. you. The words. How much Bible can I give you? That's right. The words that I. That I speak unto you. What are they? I speak not of myself. But the, I speak not on my own, but the Father that the dwelleth Father in me, or the Spirit that is in me, He doeth the works. He doeth the works. Verily, verily, I say unto truly, you, truly, truly, I say to you, He that believeth on me, oh, and He keep pointing to Himself. All That's right. right. All right. He that believeth on me, the works that I do, the works that I do, shall He do shall also. Shall He do also. And greater and works than these works shall, than he these do, shall He do. Because I go unto the Father. All right. He said repentance is not for everybody. It's just for the Jews. Acts chapter 17 and Let's verse 30. See. Let's see what the Bible said. Acts chapter 17 and at verse 30. Next subject. He said repentance is not for everybody. It's Lord. not for the body of Christ. It's not for the body of Christ. No. Now think of what you said. No place a Apostle a Paul a never teach repentance. Ooh, well, Apostle oh, 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 Paul, just a minute, me. just a minute. Apostle Paul, doctrine, yes. he preached faith 
unbelief. So the apostles never preached repentance. To who? Oh, Not to the body of Christ. They didn't? Not to the body of Christ. Give me to the, the Jews. Give me the to the Jews, but not to the body of Christ. Of the book Give me of the Acts. 17th chapter. Finally, he preached here, to the body of Christ. Here, here now. Now, look at the situation he put the body of Christ in. The body of Christ. Just a minute. Colossians 1 18. Just, just a minute, brother. Christ is the head of this body. Just a minute. And this is a spiritual body. Just a minute. God does not have a church, a physical church in this earth. Wonderful. God Can doesn't I, have a physical church in this earth. Minute. He has a spiritual body. Just a minute. And he's the head of the body. Just a minute. Colossians 1 18. Just a minute. Yes, sir. Just a minute. Now, I want everybody to pay attention. Listen at the statement that the apostles never preach repentance to the body of Christ. So Amen. that means the apostles never preach you should be sorry about your wrong, that you should have remorse about your wrong because you are never convicted about your wrong. So if they never preach repentance to the body of Christ, that's telling me that nobody in the body of Christ need forgiveness. Right. No, that's not what the scripture say. Because where there's repentance, there's forgiveness. That's, right. that's, that's, that's not complicated. So then, if nobody in the body of Christ needs forgiveness, that would mean, every, are you in the body of Christ? Oh, I'm in, I'm, I was created according to Ephesians 4, uh, 24. Uh, all right, yeah, uh, brother. I was created yeah, yeah, in the body. Yeah, yeah, man. Brother, mm -hmm. are you in the body of Christ? Yes, sir. You're in the body of Christ? Yes, sir. Have, did you do any sin? I born in sin. No, 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 sin. I ain't about born. I, I about... still sin and you still Just sin. Just a minute. Do you still sin? Do you still sin? Yes. Okay, I still sin. But you're in the body. I'm in the body spiritually. Do you need to repent for it? I don't need to repent for I'm in the body. You don't need to repent? According to Romans 8.1. Just, 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 just a minute. Listen to it. Acts just, chapter just 17 and verse just 30. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Everybody, please listen. I want y'all to listen at his reason. Listen at his reason. Yeah, yeah. Just a minute. I, I, don't, I don't want none of y'all. Don't, 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 don't yell out. Don't, don't yell out. None of y'all yell out. I want everybody to listen because this is good learning. Here is a mortal human being who has flaws and errors, and he admit he sins. You too, sir. Right. Okay, let's move on. But I'm not foolish enough to say I ain't going to repent. Repent from what? If, a, if your neighbor... Just, 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 just a minute, just a minute. You don't repent just for your sins. Just a minute, sins. yeah. Right. If you do wrong, do you seek forgiveness? If I do wrong, I go to the person. No, 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 no. I right. go to, if I do wrong... You go to, to the person. And I said... And, I and said you seek that. forgiveness. I was, listen to me. This is, what, this is what the Bible teaches. Yes. We were created to do good work. Yes. Yet it's now. If you have offended me, uh -huh. if you have offended me, yes. the Bible teaches... You must go to your brother. I agree. Listen to me. And say to him, if I had offended yes. you, forgive me. Do you sin against God? Listen to me. No, I don't sin against God in the spirit. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Listen to what I'm saying. Thou hast sinned against Young none. man, excuse me. Let's get some, go don't ahead. take my scripture to the content. Let's get back. I say I don't sin against God Psalms. in the spirit. What you do to my least ones? Give me that. I want to bow. Romans 8.1. Read it. Read it. Romans 8.1. Read it. Hmm. Romans 8 1. We're, Romans 8 1. Let's get Psalms. I don't sin in the spirit. Here, here, First Psalms, here, Pastor. Here, here now. Psalms. Here now. Romans 8 1. Read that for me. Here now. We're going to get Psalms because he said he don't sin against God. In the spirit. Don't twist my word is now. Is God sir. a spirit? Listen, he is a spirit. Do you sin against that spirit? No, sir. My All Lord. Right, hold it. Psalms. Hold, hold it right there. Listen at the Bible. Psalms 51 and at verse 4. Everybody, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. Here's a mortal man who says when he sinned, he don't sin against God. No, I did not say, I don't sin in the spirit. You don't. According to Romans 8, 1. You don't sin. I'm in Christ. If you're. I am perfect in Christ, righteous in Christ. Yes. Have been sanctified in Christ. Uh -huh. Been also been justified by if the blood of Jesus if Christ. If you're sinning, are you perfect? Sinning? No, I cannot. If you commit I, one sin, are you perfect? I am in, in the flesh. Are you perfect in if the you flesh. commit a sin? I am perfect in the spirit. You're perfect in the spirit? Yes, sir. Well, Romans 8, 1, read it. All right, Romans 8, 1. Everybody, everybody be quiet. Romans 8, 1. Listen, Roman, let, listen, let, are you going to let the brother read? <laughs> let the brother read. Read. He's trying to read for you. Read, read it. Come here, read it. Romans 8, 1. 
I want everybody to hear Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. Listen. There is therefore now no condemnation. Yes. The to words them speak unto you there. Which are in Christ. Lord Jesus. Yes. Who walk not after the flesh. Oh, but what? But after the spirit. I agree. All right, now. There's no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus on terms. And terms? Then the, that is what the Bible quiet, say. Just a minute now. But the Bible didn't say that. Yeah. On terms. Brother, are you going to let me finish? Okay. Let brother finish. Because the brother read the scripture and he read the terms. That's right. Notice this, he didn't see that. That's right. Listen, he, he read the scripture, how you're not condemned, but then he also read in the same verse, the terms, terms that keep you from being condemned. Just no. a minute. Just a minute. Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. This, this is his scripture that Ro my brother read. Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. Follow me. There is therefore now no condemnation. There is therefore now no condemnation. To them which are in Christ Jesus. Now, when you're in Christ Jesus, it means when you are following his teaching and you are obedient to his teaching. And when you do that, what is it? Who walk not after the flesh. You're not condemned when you don't walk after the flesh. That's the term. But after the spirit. And if you walk after the spirit, then you won't be condemned. Con condemned. Uh, condemned. But if you, but read on, read on. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. What is it? Hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Hallelujah. For what the law could not do. What the law? Under the law. Yeah, uh, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay. What the law couldn't do, wow, why? In that it was weak. The law was what? Weak through the, the flesh. Weak through the flesh. Uh, through the, through flesh. the flesh. God sending his own son. For what? In what the likeness did? of sinful flesh. What, what did he did to sin? And for sin. Wait what did he did to sin? He did what? God sending his own son in yeah. the likeness of sinful flesh. What did he do? And for sin. For sin. What did he did? Condemned sin. He condemned sin. Hallelujah. What? Condemned sin Where? in the flesh. Right. Ah. Now let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. You're in the body. Yes, sir. Your flesh sin. Yes, sir. When your flesh sin, is it condemned? Yes, sir. So your flesh is condemned. Yes, sir. And yet you're in the body. Yes, sir. And you're under condemnation. No, not me in the spirit, in the flesh, as a natural man. Romans 8, 1 just says, in Christ. You want to know something? In Christ. Listen. In Christ. Just a minute. In Christ. Listen. In Christ. When you're in Christ, what does that mean? You obey him, okay? Uh, no, listen what it means. Let's just a minute. Not what your interpretation well, here, here. say. Can anybody be properly in Christ and not obey him? Listen to me. Answer me. As a natural man? Can no. As a natural man. be in Christ and not obey him? As a natural man? No. So, are you a spirit? I live in the spirit that the spirit that God kept put in my spirit yes. according to Ephesians 4, 24. So, Read it. What is the spirit? Read it, what Ephesians 4.24. What is the spirit? The spirit is truth. The spirit is God. The spirit is life. Is the spirit God's word? In the beginning, John 1.1. I am talking about that. Hold up. I'm not talking about In that. In the John. beginning was the word. I agree. Okay. So who is the spirit? God. God is the spirit? Not a spirit, spirit. I agree. God is the spirit? Yes, he's spirit. The, the speech of Jesus, was that spirit? The words he says speak is spirit and life. Oh, so if I don't live by the words he speak, am I in sin? You don't live by all of the words he speak. I didn't ask you that. No, I'm asking if you. If you don't live by the words that Jesus speak, do you sin? Do you sin in the flesh? Yes, we all do. All of us. So you all sin? Of all of us. So you got to repent. Repent for what? In the spirit? You are perfect in Christ. Lord You're help. perfect in Christ, uh, in the flesh. All right, I and, want to, and, and I appreciate here, that. Everybody here. God Let's, bless you. Just a minute. Uh, you can take your seat, brother. You can yes. take your seat. Yes. I want everybody here. Now, he said, here, yeah, just, 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 y'all be quiet now. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't yell out. Don't yell out at him. Don't yell out at him because he's reading scriptures that he don't understand. <laughs> now, listen. He says, I ask a question, when you sin, do you sin against God? He right. says no. He says no. Let's see what the Bible says. Psalms 51, we'll start at verses 3 and Follow 4. Follow me. Psalms 51, verses 3 and 4. Listen. For I acknowledge my transgression. Wait. Here's a prophet. And I know he ain't no prophet. No. King David was a man after God's own heart. 
He said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, one that shall fulfill all my will. Now, listen at what he says about the prophet. For, mm, for, for I acknowledge my transgressions. The prophet said, I admit my wrong. And my sin. And my sin. Is ever before me. Is ever in my presence. Against thee. Against thee. The only. Against thee only. Have I sinned. You say you never sinned against God. <laughs> Psalm 51 and verse 4. Against thee. I'm going to Ephesian 4. Yeah, yeah. Listen to I'm going to Ephesian 4. Yeah. Tell it. The Holy Spirit yes, lives man. within me. Just a minute. And live within you. The prophets had the Spirit of God in no, them. No, the Spirit that the Holy the Ghost. Peter, the Peter. Holy Ghost used to come. Give, upon. Give me, give me the book the of Peter. The Holy Spirit used to come upon. Give me the book of Peter. Not dwell sure. in. The Bible says the holy men of God speak as they was moved. By the Holy Ghost. Then the Holy Ghost. Spirit come upon them, not in them. Never, First Peter chapter no, one. It never was in them. Not was First in Peter them. chapter the one. Holy Ghost come upon Hold them. Hold it. Give me that. First Peter Hold chapter it. one. Listen to me. Give me that. Then give me Ezra. Go ahead. Let thy Holy Spirit come into me. First Peter chapter one verses one and eleven. Search give me Ezra you. quick now. Just get Peter first. First and Peter <laughs> chapter one. And at verse 11. Don't, don't, don't talk back to him. Don't talk back to him. Just, I want y'all to just hear Bible. Okay. Hear this. Against searching what? Searching what? Or what matter of time? Or what matter of time? The spirit of Christ, which was in them. No, he said it wasn't in them. Somebody's a liar. Just before you say anything, let's, let's listen at the Bible. Searching because what? Because you plainly said that the spirit was not in the prophets. It just moved upon them. And you can't deny that. That's what you said. Now let's hear the Bible. Searching what? Searching what? Or what matter of time? What matter of time? The Spirit of Christ. The Spirit of Christ. Which was in, which them, was in them. Did signify. Did signify. When it testified when it beforehand testified the sufferings beforehand, of Christ. The sufferings of Christ. So the Spirit of Christ wasn't only upon them, but it also was in them. That's right. All right. Now. Second want, Estrus. Now here. Everybody listen. Everybody listen. Everybody be quiet and listen, because he erred. He said the spirit just moved on him and wasn't in him. Well, I'm going to believe what the Bible said. That's right. All right, let's get my second witness. Second Estrus, chapter 14. Second Estrus. Chapter 14. Chapter 14. And verse 22. Verse 22. But if I have found grace before <laughs> thee. Listen at Ezra. If I have found grace before, before thee. Send the Holy Ghost. This is Old Testament. Send the Holy Ghost into me. Hallelujah. Give chapter and verse. Second Esther chapter 14 and verse 22. Says what? But if I have found grace before if thee. If I have found grace before thee. Send the Holy Ghost. Send the Holy Ghost. Into me. Into me. And I shall write. Hallelujah. How you think the word of God was written? That's right. By the prophets. The Holy Ghost didn't only move on them, it got in them. Got in them. And the holy men of God spake as they was moved by the Holy Ghost. And the same thing that got on them got in them, like the same thing that's on me is in me now. That's right. But if same I, thing. That's right. Any of you out here saying the Spirit of God only was on the prophets and never was in them, you don't believe the Bible. That's right. That's not right dividing the Bible. You, you, you half divided. You're but, not right and divided. Listen right. at the Bible. Second Esther 14 and verse 22. This is plain. But if I have found grace before thee. If I have found grace before thee. Send the Holy Ghost into me. Send it where? Into me. No, just let it move on my head. Send the Holy Ghost into me. No, let it sit on my shoulder. Send the Holy Ghost into me. Let it just wander, wander around. Send the Holy Ghost into me. If the prophet asks God for the Holy Ghost to come in him, Everybody, fall on God's grace right. and ask the Holy Ghost to come in you. That's right. And that's what you better do. That's right. All right. Salvation. He said, salvation is just for Jewish folk. It's just for Jewish folk. Think of it. Let's get the famous scripture. St. John 3.16 the famous scripture that St. John 3, knows. 16. Says what? For God so loved the world. No, God just loved one ethnic group. For God so loved the world. You see, this is the same thing that white supremacists teach. 
Right. And I fight white supremacists all around the world because they believe that just white folk are chosen people and many of our black brothers think just blacks that are Jews are chosen people and I'm declaring to the world other sheep Jesus said that I have. Yes. That is not of the soul. soul. The other sheep that he has that's not of this soul, them shall I bring in. Those were Gentiles. That's right. Not just Jews. That's right. Glory to God, the apostle Peter went among other sheep. Other sheep. The house of Cornelius. That's right. Preached the word of God there. Holy Ghost fell on those of the Italian bears. That's right. They were not Jews. They were Gentiles. That's right. But they received the light gift. That's right. Just like the Jews obtained it. That's right. That black supremacy trash, I beat it into hell. Amen. All right. Who else have some next questions here? Come on, son. Make it quick because I'm on the clock. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Greetings, greetings. Um, I just have a question um, pertaining to the Holy Ghost. Because um, like what the Bible says, you get baptized for the remissions of sins. Yes. And then the Holy Ghost would come into you. Mm -hmm. um, so I received my tongues uh, while I was in falsehood, and I wasn't baptized yet. So I just wanted to know some clarification on that. Right Give it a tip, chapter, the book of Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 10, and we'll the start. The question is, is it possible to receive the Holy Ghost before you're baptized? Yes. 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 But yes. the Holy Ghost falls the same manner as the baptism is given upon a repentant life. That's right. The Holy Ghost don't fall upon nobody who don't have a repentant heart. That's right. While Peter in the fourth teeth. Tenth chapter, chapter of the book of Acts. Give chapter and verse again. Acts chapter 10 and verse 44. Thank you, pardon. Uh, Acts chapter 10, begin at verse 44. Follow me. You can be seated. Listen. While Peter yet spake these words. While Peter yet spake the word. The Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. And remember, when Peter was preaching, they didn't have the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ yet here. Right. Listen. And they of the circumcision they, which believe were astonished. Look at here. Look at here. Yet he said the message is just for Jews. Yes. And here we right here amidst Jews and Gentiles. That's right. Circumcised and uncircumcised. That's right. Listen. And they of the circumcision which believed they were astonished. That were believing Jews were amazed. As many as came with Peter. As many as came with Peter. Because that on the Gentiles also. On a other, another ethnic group, what did they obtain? Was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know it? For they heard them speak with tongues. And what? And magnify God. And what answered Peter? Then answered Peter, can any man forbid water? So they received the baptism of the Holy Ghost first. Yes. But it comes upon a repentant heart. That's right. Godless sorrow works with repentance unto life. That repentance is just not centered around water baptism. That's right. That repentance is centered around your life with God, period. If you want the Holy Ghost, you got to have a repentant heart. Before you're baptized, you got to have a repentant heart. And if you got that repentant heart, before you go down in water, the Holy Ghost can come in you and fill you with the Spirit even before you get in water. That's right. But it all comes. Or to God on the repentant heart. Can any man forbid water? Can anybody uh, forbid water? That these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. What did he do? And he commanded them to be baptized. Wait. This is your salvation. This is your new birth. New birth. This is the way you're born again. That's right. Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man is born again, again. of water, and spirit. Here is the water right here. Can any man forbid water? What? That, can any man forbid water? Can you? Any man. Can you forbid anybody? Any man. That goes for everybody here that's on the island of the Bahamas, all 700 islands. Can any man forbid any water? Of, I don't care if you think you're a preacher, pastor, prophet, if you're Gabriel's cousin. Can any man forbid can water? Can you forbid water? That these should not be baptized. That you shouldn't be baptized? Which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. Then what did... God saved through Peter. And he commanded them. Oh, no. He asked them. He commanded them. He requests. He commanded them. To do what? To be baptized in the name of the Lord. If you don't obey this command, your sins ain't washed away. That's right. You're still a sinner. That's right. And you're still in your sins. So, yes, it's possible to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue before you receive water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 11, verses 17 and 18. That's what? For as much then as God gave them the light gift. Look at here. Mm. The apostle Peter 
making reference to Gentiles. That's right. How the Lord gave them. And I want to say to all you Jews and black Hebrew Israelites who always write me from around the world, the Bible is written to nobody else but the Jews. Don't you know it's two types of Jews? That's right. Get me. It's two types of Jews. That's right. You got the natural Jew, glory to God, that descended from Abraham. And each tribe is sealed. Out of each tribe, 7,000 is sealed. Or rather, 12,000. 12, and then when all each tribe add up, they come to 144,000. Are the direct descendants that come from out of uh, Abraham. You better give me the seventh chapter of the book of Revelation, Revelation. quickly. Yeah. Quick, son. Yes. And then I want the first chapter of the book of Romans. Yeah. And let's see how we are a Jew and how we not a Jew. Revelation chapter 7. I want all you black Hebrew Israelites to get this. Amen. I yep. was in England. The black Hebrew Israelites was out there yelling for passage in his head. And here I give them Bible. Amen. And my brother here, I guess he's a Jew, but I'm going to give this is one Jew. I'm going to give him a belly full of Bible. That's right. And if I got any other Jew, if I got any other Jews in here, I'm going to give you a belly full of Bible. That's right. Listen. Revelation chapter 7, we'll start at verse 4. Listen. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. I heard the number of them that were sealed. And they were sealed in 144,000. The 144,000 are the direct descendants of Abraham according to the flesh. Uh, Not according to the spirit, but according to the flesh. These were Abraham. Descents. And there were sealed in 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Not all the tribes of, of all what? the tribes of the children of Israel. What is it? Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. 12, of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Yes. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Nephilim were sealed 12,000. Yes. Of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed 12,000. Uh -huh. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Then I want a number that no man can number. Real quick. Of the tribe of Levi was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar was sealed 12,000. Yes. Of the tribe of Zebulun was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph was sealed 12,000. Yes. Of the tribe of Benjamin was sealed 12,000. Uh -huh. Now we're at verse 9. Now I want you to hear. He just read those that are righteous that are sealed from the descendants of Abraham according to the flesh. That's right. Now you have a number that no man can number. That's right. That's the spiritual church. That's, right. That's the body of Christ. Listen. Revelation chapter 7 at verse 9. What is it? After this I beheld. After this. Glory to God I looked. And lo, a great multitude. Great multitude. Which no man could number. What? Which no man could number. Of all nations. Wait, no, 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 no. Just the sentence of Abraham. Of all nations. You see, first he atomized what came from Abraham by the East tribe. That's right. And that's not all nations. That's right. Eh? Listen. After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man can number, right, of it. all nations, of everybody, and kindreds, Kendrick. and people, and people, and tongues. Wait a minute. That goes to show you not all the Jews, because if it says tongues, tongues. that means tongues, spell tongues. T-O-N-G-U-E-S. That means everybody ain't speaking Hebrew. All right. That's right. Everybody's not of the Hebrew dialect. That's right. This is Bible here. After this I beheld. Tongues. Tongues. Plural. Yes. Tongues. That's right. Different languages. That's right. Uh -huh. After this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man can number. And what? Of all nations and kindreds. This is Bible talking and kindred. And people. People. And tongues. Tongues. Stood before the Lamb. They stood before the Savior. Stood before Jesus. And before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Do you hear that? Right. So here you have a number. No man can number. No man can That's number. That's the body of Christ. Right. Amen. Because there is no specific amount. That's given in the Bible of those that are coming the first resurrection. That's right. So he struck out over and over and over again. He said the Holy Ghost just came upon him and that was in him. And the Bible contradict that. He said Jesus never preached of himself. And Jesus contradict that personally. Personally. Uh, he said when you sin, he don't sin against God. And the Bible said against, against God thee, only, the only have I has thine sin. So again I said, come back to Bible. That's right. Everybody. Come back to Bible. That's right. I don't care nothing about custom or tradition. You black Jews that's hanging on your blackness. That's right. As if it's some type of qualification to walk with God. 
You ain't no better than white bigots. What advantage then hath the Jew? Listen, that I want all you Jews to hear this. Romans chapter three and at and verse one. And then after that, I want to show you that I am a Jew. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you're listening now to a Jewish preacher here. That's right. Not that it matters, but I want to show you how I'm a Jew. That's right. All right, follow me and hear me. Romans chapter 3 at verse 1, also verse 9. Listen. What advantage then hath the Jew? I want you Jews to hear this. Yeah. That's going around telling black people, you are the most, you are the chosen people of God. Blacks are sinners like whites. That's right. Whites are sinners like everybody else. That's right. Your nature of birth is evil, corrupt, because you're in sin. That's right. That's why you need to be born again. Yeah. Hear me good now. Romans chapter 3, verses 1 and verse 9. What, is what advantage then hath the Jew? What advantage have the Jew? Or what profit is there of circumcision? What profit is it of circumcision? What then? All right, I want every Jewish person to hear this. Romans 3 and verse 9. What then? Are we better than they? No. Now remember, Paul was a Jew. He came out the tribe of Benjamin, the tribe that gave Israel their first king. And Paul asked the question here. What then? What then? Are we better are than... We, are we? We, be we. We. We Jews. Are we better than they? Are we better than everybody else? No. In no wise. Do you hear what the Bible said? What then? Are we better than they? Are we better than they? No. No. In no wise. In no wise. For we have before proved. We have proved. Both Jews. Both Jews. And Gentiles. And Gentiles. That they are all under sin. <laughs> so you, Jew, you Jews that think you're better, hmm. the Bible says that we have proved. For we have before both we, proved. We have both proved. Both Jews. That Jews. And Gentiles. And everybody else. That they are all under you're sin. You're a bunch of sinners. That's right. You're a bunch of sinners. For we have proved. I, have, I dare any Jew tell me he's not a sinner. I make him lick it up. That's right. I take your Jewish tongue and make it lick it up. That's right. All right. Give me the book of Romans now. Romans chapter 2. We'll start at verse 28. I want to show you how I am a Jew. For he is not a Jew. Uh-oh. Hmm. When you brag about your Judaism outwardly, you ain't giving me nothing. That's right. That's nothing to me. But let's get something better than your outward Jewishness. Romans chapter 2, we'll start at verse 28. What is it? For he is not a Jew which is one outward. He is not a Jew which is one outward. Neither is that circumcision which Neither is outward is in the flesh. Neither is circumcision which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew. How? Which is one inwardly. How? Inwardly. Wait a minute. He is what on the inside? But he is a Jew. Where? Which is one inwardly. He is what on the inside? Jew. He is what on the inside? But he is a Jew. Where? Which is one inwardly. He is what on the inside? But he is a Jew. Where? Which is one inwardly. He is what on the inside? But he is a Jew. Where? Which is one inwardly. Tell me how is it done? And circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. I'm a Jew on the inside. Inwardly. I've been circumcised in the heart. That's right. In the spirit. That's right. The Lord came with the sharp instrument of scripture. That's right. And took a sharp instrument and made the foreskin fall off my heart. That's right. And the foreskin off my heart wasn't flesh. Yeah. It was stone. Stone. Choose ye this day. This day. Give me the book of Joshua. Joshua. Then give me the book of Kings. Amen. Amen. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was very good questions. Hey Amen. He quoted a lot of scriptures. He just didn't rightly divide none of them. Right. And that's what most of them do. They come in here full of Bible, but they don't rightly divide them. That's right. They just quoting. They just quote, 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 quote. And like in America, in America, the Hebrew Israelites is peddling <laughs> that Jewish trash. That's right. All around the world, that Jews are the only chosen people of God, which is a lie out of hell. Right. Amen. Because here you had a man of God by the name of Titus, whom the Bible said was a Greek, a Greek who was not compelled to be circumcised. That's right. All right, follow me. Joshua chapter 24, we're right at verse 15. All right, because I know internet is jumping now. <laughs> Amen. I know it's jumping now, but I don't care if you are jumping. Amen. I'll be going to make you jump with Bible. That's right. Listen at this. Joshua chapter 24 and verse 15. I want all of you on the Bahama Islands that hear this, in case I got any Jewish religions that's here on the island. Yeah. I'm telling the world that every human being that is on the 700 islands of the Bahamas 
must obey God by submitting to God's word and repenting of your sins. That's right. That's right. All of you. All of you. Oh, I thank God, I don't care what nationality you are, to be born again, to come out of your sins, to be put in the body of Christ. Paul said you're baptized by one spirit, spirit. into one body, and the way to get in, the spirit got to put you in. How do the spirit put you in? Through preaching. That's right. Because the words that I speak unto you are spirit. Your spirit. Oh, I take God in their our life, and you got to obey what the spirit says through preaching. That's right. Or oh, it is written, God make manifest his word. Through preaching. through preaching. Come on, William. Joshua chapter 24 and verse 15. Parliament. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord. Do you hear this? Amen. If it seem evil, if it seem wrong. Unto you to serve the Lord. Thank God it shows me how this message is stirring up the Bahamas. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. We got the island stirred up. <laughs> got it jumping, Pastor. Yeah. The word of God. Hallelujah. The word of God got the island jumping. Jumping. Amen. And you might as well jump. Jump where? Right in the Bible. That's right. Every Baptist, every Methodist, every Presbyterian, every Lutheran, every Muslim, every Mormon, every uh, Scientologist, every atheist in the world got to come back to Bible and obey the one God that you don't believe in. That's right. And if you don't follow his orders, to hell you're going. That's right. Who? You. Your mama. Your pastor, your daddy, That's your right. wife, you. And hell, you're going to lift up your eyes if you don't follow what is written here. That's right. Do you hear what it says? Joshua 24 and verse 15. What is it? And if it seem evil unto you to serve Over the Lord. Take God, if it seem evil. Evil unto you to serve the Lord. If it seem evil. Amen. Who will fight the baptism who, in the name of Jesus that? Christ but the evil? That's right. Who will fight Holy Ghost speaking in tongue but evil folk? That's right. Here you had the apostles. Who were Jews? Oh, yeah. Everywhere they went, they preached the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Thank God, which put you in the body. Until Jesus said that repentance and remission, and remission of, sins of sins should be should preached. Be. If you don't do it, you should do it. Should be preached in his name. If you don't do it, you should do it. That's right. Do it in his name. Or whatever language you say his name in, do it in his name. In his name. How? Where? Beginning at Jerusalem. Among all nations. Among all nations. Beginning where? Beginning at Jerusalem. I want you to take it everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. Why? Everybody got to have it. That's right. Listen. Joshua 24 and verse 15. That's right. And if it seem evil unto you to <laughs> serve the Lord. If it seem evil to you to serve God. Choose you this day. That's what I want you to do. Whom ye will serve. What? Whether the gods of your fathers, whether the gods of your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. Yes. But as for me and my house, that's, yeah, 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 that's where I'm at now. That's right. Amen. I want everybody to hear this. But as for me and, and my house, I want house, you to look at your home. That's right. As for me and my house, and my house, we will serve the Lord. That's where I'm at. That's right. That's why I fight everybody to religion. Yeah. Amen. Everybody. Who? Everybody. Yours. Everybody. That's right. What do you fight it with? With Bible. That's right. I don't want your opinion. No. Amen. You can quote me scriptures all day. Salvation. Nobody in the body of Christ got to repent. Nobody. Nobody. In order for you not to repent when you walk in the spirit, that means you're obeying what the spirit said in scripture. That's right. But everybody that's in the body get out the spirit. Yeah. That's right. And a person in the body of Christ don't get out the spirit. Yeah. Not one. Not one. Every single person in the body of Christ get out the spirit. Even Paul oh, yeah. got out the spirit. That's right. And it's written, he came before the church That's and right. said, forgive me, me of this wrong. wrong. In the second chapter of the book of Galatia, Peter got out the spirit. Them that came from James got out the spirit. And the Bible says Barnabas was carried away with they dissimulation. And Paul correct them and oh, yeah. said, when I saw that they did not walk upright right. according to the truth. What was the truth? That he made Jew and Gentile one. That's right. One. That's the truth. You got a question? No, I saw you raising your hand. That's right. All right, just one. They made everybody one. All right, run question. Come on real quick, brother. If you want to bring your question, make it quick. Okay. Good day, everybody. I come in peace. <laughs> and like the Israelites would say, my black brothers and whoever else, shalom. shalom. And like my Muslim brothers would say, assalamu alaikum. Good day, sir. Good day, brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um... 
I want to start off with clearing up a name. I think you could help me. In the book of Matthew chapter 1 and 16. Matthew 1, 16. It says here, And Jacob begat Joseph, yes. the husband of Mary, of whom was born the Christ. Yes. And it goes on to say, where am I now? Joseph's father's name was Jacob in here. Mm -hmm. But when I go to Luke, the other gospel, it says in chapter 3 of Luke, wait, let me make sure I get it. It says in Luke that the father of Joseph is Hilai, Hilai, H-E-L-I. In Matthew, the father of Jacob is you mean of, the Joseph, father of Joseph is Jacob. Yes. In Matthew, in Luke, it says his name is H-E-L-I. Yes. Could you help me with that first? One is talking about descendants, and one is talking about actual flesh and blood. The one is called descendants. Which one is the descendant? Descendants is Jacob. He comes from that descendants. Okay. He comes from the descendants of Jacob. According to this, yes. it, it says here. Uh, I'll give you a good example. The Bible says that David was Jesus' father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know and I know Jesus was not begotten by no man. No. But yet he descended from that bloodline. Right. So but that's what it's talking about. Let's see if you send the right All thing. All right, come on, brother, real quick, because I'm and, on the clock. And, and he looked. Verse 15, begat Eliezer, and Eliezer begat Mahathan. Okay. And Mahathan begat Jacob. Is this the same Jacob you're talking about? No. Okay. So you got that one wrong. No. No. What I'm talking about... I mean, in context. No, you're talking about... Are you asking, is that the same one? Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's the same one. This Jacob is the same Jacob. Because if you look at the scripture, the Jacob that you're making reference to of Joseph is not talking about just say if you my father, right there, close. I'm not talking about Jacob in that manner. No, see, what I'm trying to understand here is this. I'm reading out of the book. Exactly. I don't read too well. But it says you read here. well. <laughs> you, you read very well because you just demonstrated it. So, no, Heliot will be as if you my father. Not Heliot. Heli, that would be as if you're my father. You lay with my mother, I come forth. But then when they say Jacob, you're talking about a bloodline, you're talking about descendant. Because Jacob, that's like Jesus. He was that descendant. No, no, let's see if we can get that straight. I know you're not slow. Um, <coughs> listen to it again. Verse 15. Yes. You know what? That the brother, you understand him a little bit better. No, I understand. I understand. Read verse 15. I understand you perfectly. You're reading very well. So just come on because I'm okay, on the clock okay, okay, and I'm not okay, going to uh, okay, stay okay, here and prolong. Okay. No, we ain't going to stay too long. All right. All right. I'm only asking these are blood sea going down. Yes. From Iliad straight down to Mahathan. Yes. Who seed was Jacob. And Jacob the seed for Joseph. Yes. But you're saying another Jacob. Are you talking about Jacob as in Israel? No, I am not saying another. Who are you talking I'm about? I'm talking about the one Jacob that wrestled with the angel. Yeah, that's Israel. Yes. Yeah, but I asked you if you meant Israel. Yes. I but, they, but they're not talking about Israel here. How many Jacobs you got? They got a number of them. How many? According to this, they got a number of them. How many Jacobs you got uh, that wrestle with the angel? I just talk about one, and you talk about the other one. No, I'm talking about one. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay. All you right. know what? Let, let, let me just make this quick. Let's, quick, let's make quick, it quick, brother. Quick, quick, quick. quick. Okay. Come on, brother. So, so far, we already got a confusion. So now, in the name, now let's get back to where we ought to go. In Islam, they say Allah. In Judaism, they say Yahweh. Okay. In Christianity, they say probably Jesus or Jehovah. What's your point? God only has one name. I agree. What is it? The name is, listen to the sound of my breath. Yeah. His name is Yah. Okay. The son name is, watch me. 
Yes, sure. That's a very good sneeze. <laughs> you know why? The sneeze says that I need a savior. Now, let me ask you a the question. Sneeze, the sneeze yeah. says I need let a savior. Let me ask you a question. Yes, hey, sure. Brother, brother, let me ask you a question. Is how many lords do we have? Lords of heaven? Only one lord. Is Yah that lord? Didn't they say Yah? Is sure? Yeah, is Yah the lord? Didn't they say Yah? Brother, I heard what sure? you said. I'm just asking you okay, a question. Okay, one second. Because one I'm second. not going to prolong well, it. I, I, I don't want to Yah the lord. I, let, the lord. Me, let me say it again. Yah is the source of life. Yah is the savior. Do you agree? Yes. Is that the Lord? It is the Lord. Is I am. I am. That I am. Yeah. Is that the Lord? See, you, see the why? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Is that the Lord? Okay. Is That's that the Lord. Lord? That's the Lord. Jehovah. Is that no, the Lord? Hold on. Where you get this Jehovah from? Is, is that the Lord? Where you get that from? Is that the Lord? Jehovah is not the Lord. There are many gods, but Jehovah is not the Lord. How many lords is it? There's only one. Is Jehovah that Lord? No, not by that name. Jehovah, no. Not by that name. In ignorance, in ignorance, that's the name. Give me the Old Testament. Just, see in how ignorance. Was, yeah, just a minute. Let's see by what name he was not known. Exodus chapter Jehovah. 6, we'll start at verse 2. Follow me. And God spake Hold unto it. Moses. Look at the subject. We got one God. One. And the Bible says God. And God spake unto Moses. Spake to Moses. And said unto him. Said to him. I am the Lord. I am am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto I Jacob. I am the same one that appeared to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. By the name of God Almighty. By the name of God Almighty. But by my name Jehovah. But by my name. By my name Jehovah. By my name. But by my name Jehovah, Jehovah was I not known to them. Now I said to you on Monday night. Hold it. Just I said minute. to you, let you, me finish, you, brother. you let not me, yeah, yeah. Let you me got finish. knowledge. Let me finish. I just asked you, was Jehovah the Lord? Just a minute. Was Jehovah the Lord? You said no. I and said, here, here, you, ignorance. you said no. Correct. So here is the Lord telling how the people didn't know him. And God spake unto Moses. Yet he admit he was the same one. That's right. All right. And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, Yes. I am the Lord. I am. And the Bible said, Know ye the Lord that he is God. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob. Yes. By the name of God Almighty. When I appeared to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I appeared by the name of God Almighty. Jesus. That's how they know me. But by my name Jehovah. But. By my name, Jehovah, was I not known I unto them. I couldn't be identified by that with people because they didn't know me as that. That's right. Now, is I'm that the ask, truth? Now, I'm going to ask you what no, is no, no. true. I'm going to ask just you what is truth. Is that the truth? I'm going to, I said, in ignorance. Is that the truth? In ignorance, that is not the truth. I mean, and I, God spake unto you. Moses. Listen to what I'm saying. God said it. Hold God on, spake on. unto Moses. God said it. I heard that. And is that said the unto truth? him. Is that the truth? I, said, I am the Lord. I said, God pronouncing his name to his servant, Musa. Okay. Is that okay. the truth? Jehovah, the letter J, is in that. Is that the truth? Is J 5,000 Is that ago? the truth? Is J 5,000 years Never mind ago? that. No, is answer that me. the truth? Answer me. Is that the Talk truth? To me. Is that the truth? I asked you. And God spake unto J. Moses. God the said. And said unto him, I am the Lord. Years ago. All right. Or 6, Let me ask you a question. Was Jerusalem existing back then? Oh, it's on the earth. Oh, so if Jerusalem was back then, there was a J in Jerusalem. No, no, we call it Jerusalem. How is it it didn't come later until Jesus got here? Now, let's hear what the Bible said. And God spoke to Moses. I want everybody that are watching. This is what I've been saying for years, viewers. You can bring Bible, and they still won't believe it. That's right. Hear what the Bible says. And God spake unto Moses. God said. And said unto him, I am you, the Lord. Not me. God, God spake. said. God spake unto Moses. And said what? And said unto him, I am the Lord. I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, I and unto Jacob. To Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. By the name of God Almighty. By the Almighty. name of God Almighty. But by my name, Jehovah. But by the name, Jehovah. Was I not known to them. Is that the truth? 
Is that the truth? Listen. No, you listen. Listen. Is that the truth? You want you want me to speak? I know. I want you to just oh, tell me. Is you that, want me to speak? Is that the truth or is it you a want lie? Me to talk, speak, or whatever. I want you to just tell. You want me to is answer? it the truth? Yes, answer. Is that if the I truth? If I answer, you be quiet. Is that the truth? You while you talk, right? Look, I'm giving you permission to talk. I agree with that right. because this is your church, no. but my church. Is this the truth? And God spake unto Moses. All right, take your seat. 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 Now, as you can see plainly, you bring Bible to these folk, you ask them, do you believe it? And yet, they don't believe it, but you want to keep running off at the mouth, using up my airtime. That's right. And nobody going to come use up the airtime just so they can get a little name for themselves. The Bible says. And God spake unto Moses. Never mind Geno Jennings. God spake unto Moses. God. Never mind Geno Jennings. God spake this unto Moses. This is bigger than Geno Jennings. That's right. God, God spake, spake unto Moses. To Moses. And said unto him, I am the Lord. God said it. Not me. That's right. God says, I am the Lord. And my brother admit it's one Lord. That's right. Listen. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob. How? By the name of God Almighty. Yes. But by my name Jehovah. What? Was I not known to them? By the name Jehovah. Was I not known to them? All right. Let's see how many lords we have in Ephesians 4, 5. And then he gave me Acts 9 and 5. Ephesians chapter 4 and at verse 5. Follow me. One Lord. What? One Lord. Everybody got to agree we only got one. That's right. We only got one Lord. One Lord. What else? One faith. One belief that we're justified in heaven. One. What else? One baptism. All right, let's see the Lord talk now. Acts chapter 9 and at verse 5. What happened? And he said, who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. And how many in the Bible say we have? One Lord. And who did the Lord say he was? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. That same Lord, Revelation 1.8. Let's see who did the Bible say the same Lord is. Revelation chapter 1 and at verse 8. And they give me Titus 2.13. I am Alpha and Omega. Who said it? I am Alpha and Omega. And Omega. The beginning, the beginning and the ending. Who said it? Saith the Lord. Who did he say he is? And the, which is. Which is. And which was. And was. And which is to come. What did God say he is? The Almighty. The Almighty says he's the Lord. That's right. And there's only one Almighty. That's right. All right, give me Titus 2.13. Titus chapter that 2. The one almighty is the great God. And here, here, here. The one almighty, here, is the great God. And that same one almighty is Jesus Christ. That's right. So I want to say, I don't believe that. Give me Titus. Titus chapter 2 and verse chapter 13. Chapter 2. Verse 13. Verse 13. Looking for that blessed hope. Do you hear it? Looking for. Looking for that blessed hope. That blessed hope. And the glorious appearing. The glorious appearing. Of the great God. Of the great God. And our Savior. And our Savior. Jesus Christ. What did the Bible call him? And the glory, and looking for that blessed hope. First, he's the blessed hope. That's one title. And the glorious appearing of the great God. He's called the great God. That's another title. And our Savior. That's another title. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the Bible says he's the great God. All right, brothers. All right, let me tell you, brother. Here, here, here. You brothers don't be talking while I'm talking. You even sit quiet. Yeah, I know, but he came to you because you're talking to other people. So what you need to do is just be quiet and listen so you don't be ushered out. All right? All right, just let, let us just be quiet now. Let us just be quiet and listen and uh, so you don't be ushered out. All right? Uh, let, let us just be quiet. Let's just sit back and be quiet now. That way you don't be ushered out. Looking Amen. for that blessed hope. Because you want, I want you to look for somebody. That's right. I want you to look for somebody. Listen at the Bible. Looking for that blessed hope. And what? And the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Bible said, is the great God. That's right. And the Bible says he's our blessed hope. Blessed hope. And the Bible said he is our Savior, our and we Savior. only got one Savior, That's right. and God is that Savior. That's right. All right, give me Acts 2, 38. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. Nassau. Yeah, That's right. If you haven't obeyed what the apostles preached, you're not in the body of Christ. Who? Nobody. Nobody. Anybody say they're in the body of Christ? 
and have not done what Jesus gave his apostles, they're a liar. That's right. They're not even near the body of Christ. That's right. The way you get in the Bible, the body of Christ is on Bible order. When these men with all this fake religion that come out of hell talking about they born again, they say they're in the body of Christ, bowing your head, raising your hand, joining churches, praying sinners' prayer, don't have no Holy Ghost, mm. no baptism, and they tossed in the body. Amen. You no more in the body than Amazon dropped a package at your gate. You're going to come back to the Bible here. That's right. Listen. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Follow me. Then Peter said unto them, repent. What? Then Peter said unto them, repent. And Jesus said, what I say to one, I say to all. That's right. Everybody under the sun got to repent. You know why? You're in sin. That's right. You're in sin. That's right. And this is why the Lord requires repentance so our heart can be convicted as a result of the piercing of the word. That's right. If you read up some, it is written uh, how now, they were pricked. Now when they heard this. Listen at this. Acts chapter 2 and verse 37. What is it? Now when they heard this, they were when pricked. When they heard this. They were pricked in their heart. Wait a minute. If it ain't nothing wrong with them, their heart ain't going to be pricked. That's right. When you wrong, your heart will be pricked. That's right. When they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. Pricked. 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 What you mean? The Holy Ghost dealt with their heart. That's right. The Lord dealt with their heart. Conviction fell in there. That's then what? And said unto Peter and to said the rest to of the apostles. And the rest of the apostles. Men and brethren, what shall we do? <laughs> Let's look at the answer that the apostle who walked with Jesus, talked with him, ate with him, handed him, gave. Then Peter said unto them, repent. No, join the church. Peter said unto them, repent. Bow your head and raise your hands and accept Christ as your personal Savior. Peter said unto them, repent. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart and you are saved. Peter said unto them, repent. No, you ain't got to be baptized. Peter said unto them, repent. I just believe in my heart. I'm all right. Peter said unto them, repent. And what else? And be baptized every one no, of you. No, you don't have to do that. Be baptized every you one of you. You don't have to do that. Be baptized every one of you. For what? In the name of Jesus Christ. In what name? In the name of Jesus Christ. In Hebrew you say in the name of Yahashua HaMashiach. For the remission of sins. And what? For the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins washed away and what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And? For the promises unto you. When you're baptized you've got to repent of your sins and go down in the water. In the name of Jesus Christ, to get those sins washed away. And you got to keep that repentant heart so you can receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You see, when you're baptized, you submerge. Right. And when you receive, it's like naturally your body is submerged in water. When you receive the Holy Ghost, your body is submerged in the Spirit. That's right. Because the Spirit take over your body. Right. And guess like naturally when you submer submerge, water may go down in your mouth. In the spirit, this water come out of your body. That's right. Say, God, because it affects your tongue and you'll start speaking in another language that the spirit of God give utterance like they did on the day of Pentecost. That's so when any of these religious leaders or preachers or ministers or believers say, I'm saved, and they got it different. Different. From what they got on the day of Pentecost, they're not even safe. That's right. Never mind save, they're not even safe. There's only one plan of salvation here. That's right. One way to be born again. And everywhere the apostles went, they preached water and, spirit. water and spirit. The apostles didn't preach this religious rubbish and this weak trash that these men believe in and have today. No. The apostles didn't go around telling people you got to be a Jew. The apostles didn't go around telling people you got to be white. No. I want to say to every Jew in the world, yeah, here you listen to that man who don't give two cents about your Judaism. That's right. How much plainer can I make it? That's right. I don't give, I have no more regard for your Judaism than I do a rotten, a rotten apple that's holding a worm convention. That's right. Everybody that's right. must come back and do it like the Bible says. That's right. Or go to hell. Then Peter said unto them, repent. This is what everybody got to do. Repent your and be baptized. Your mama got to do it, your wife, your second wife that you got, and your third husband, your girlfriend that you're living with, you got this to do. That's right. Huh? When you stand before God, That's you ain't right. going to be able to tell God, oh, Lord, I'm a Jew. Hey, would you accept me? He wants to know that you obey. Amen. White folk ain't going to be able to, you know, years ago, white folk used to teach the so-called white Christian, that blacks, if they get in the kingdom, they're going to wait on them in the kitchen and grow watermelons. My Lord. And serve 
and, and they're going to have a watermelon, a watermelon patch in heaven. My Lord. Don't you know when Hitler was living in the 1940s during World War II, he brought that same Aryan nation trash to try to make all the Germans believe that they were the supreme race. Yeah. And now out of every ethnic group in the world, there are groups from that ethnicity that's believing the same thing. And here I come along with the hammer of the Bible, chopping that's and right. busting up everybody to race on earth and telling them that all nations are made of one blood. One blood. Everybody's contaminated with sin. That's right. And everybody got to do the same thing to be Bible right. That's right. If not, everybody will go to hell. That's right. That's right. Hear the old troublemaker now. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ for what? For the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Anybody Ghost. Anybody want to obey the Bible? Never mind, Pastor Jennings. Obey the Bible, the teachings of Jesus. This is what he preached. That's verily, right. verily, I say unto you, except the man is born of the water and of the Spirit. You cannot enter into God's kingdom. When you're born of the water, you repented of your sins and went down in water. As the name of your Jesus Christ, when you're born of the Spirit, you're filled with the Spirit, which is the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of God is the Holy Spirit, which is the Holy Ghost, speaking in other tongues that the Spirit of God give utterance, and that Holy Ghost puts you in the body. Right. The Apostle Paul said, you're baptized by one Spirit into one body, and the one body is the one church, and the one church is the one people. Right. And that one people is all nations. Yeah. Anybody want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, Stand on your feet if you want to obey the Bible. Amen. Wonderful. 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 All of you that are standing, Wonderful. come on to the front over here. All of you that are standing, all of you that are standing, come right over here. All of you that are standing, come on. Come on. Come on. Glory to God. Amen. There's nothing under the sun right nowhere. Amen. But what the apostles preach. And I want to say to every citizen of the Commonwealth of the Bahama Islands, there's only one church, one gospel, one message. For everybody. Everybody got this to obey. The Holy Ghost said. Then Peter said unto Hallelujah. them, repent. Repent. Oh, and be God. baptized every one of How you. How much? Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to look. Look real good at them obeying what Jesus said. That's right. Look at them. Look at them. I want you to look real good at them obeying what Jesus said. That's it. I want you to look at them obeying what Yahashua HaMashiach have said. That's right. Repent. And be baptized every one of How you. Much? Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Right. For the remission of sins. All of you that are watching. You have not repented and been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you're not saved. That's right. You ain't never been saved. That's right. Never. Never. You can claim whatever you want. You show me in the Bible where you can be saved your way. Your way. Well, I'm saved by grace. The grace of God is simply the mercy of God. That's right. And God showed mercy on us by bringing his word. That's right. We, every day we experience God's mercy. Yeah. We live, we breathe, we walk and talk, and he's given us time to obey his word. That's right. That's right. Grace is not just Jesus, the person. No. Grace also is the actions of Jesus. That's right. So the brother's right when he said grace is Jesus. That's true. That's true. But it's not just Jesus, the person. That's right. It's also his act. Exactly. What act did he do to show grace upon us? Death. Death. He death, he died. That's right. Man, that was an act of mercy, and he showed grace and compassion. So it's not just the person, it's also his act. That's right. Like the name Jesus or Yahashua HaMashiach, it is not just his name, but it's also the performance of his deeds. That's it. All right. 
Come on back this evening. Hallelujah. At 7 o'clock, come on back. Amen. Bring your pastor. Amen. We didn't sneak in the Bahama Islands. The islands know, knew that we were coming here. And I'm declaring to all the Bahamas, everybody got to do the same thing. Everybody. I don't care what church you are. God only had one church. When Jesus sent the apostles out, he didn't send them out to start 12 different churches. That's right. 12 different religions. 12 different beliefs. He didn't do that. No. He commanded them to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Every creature. He that believe and is baptized shall be saved. Lord, we thank God he that don't believe shall be damned. All right. May God keep you. This evening we'll be back at 7 o'clock. Come on back at 7 o'clock as we close this conference. Let us all stand. Bishop Ferguson will close us out. Hallelujah. Um, just before you leave, when the baptismal team is cleared, you can go to the back and they would have um, a meal for you. Okay, don't leave. When the baptismal team is cleared out, you can just go uh, in the back. There is food for you. Our Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you thanks and we give you praise. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for being our peace. We ask that you go with us now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You are dismissed.